Did you know every 40 seconds someone in America has a stroke and every three and a half minutes someone dies of it? Stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in America. As common as stroke is, most fail to recognize the signs and symptoms of stroke. CDC put out a survey on their website where only 36% of the participants recognize the major symptoms of stroke. I think we could do better. This is why I'm creating this YouTube channel. Welcome to Strike Stroke. My name is Megdis. I'm a neurology resident and I want to talk to you about stroke. Because I believe with the information I'm willing to provide that you will be well informed, well knowledgeable about stroke and you will be ready to recognize the signs and symptoms of stroke if they were to happen to you, your loved ones or somewhere near you and you will be able to activate the emergency medical services right away by dialing 911 to saving yourself, your loved ones, or someone else. Stroke is a time sensitive matter and we know through experience that those who arrive at the emergency department within three hours of their symptom onset had less disability at three months checkup when compared to those who arrived at a later time. So time is important and that we acting right away is much more important. So what are the signs and symptoms you should be looking out for to activate the emergency medical services? If you or someone near you suddenly can't see because of double vision, blurry vision, or blindness in one eye, and rarely in both eyes, can't speak because of having difficulty producing words, or understanding words, or having slurred speech because of face weakness. If you can't walk because of weakness affecting one side of the body, or because of dizziness or loss of balance. If you can't feel developing numbness and tingling on one side of the body, you or that person near you could be having a stroke. So you should call 911 right away and let the operator know that you suspect you or someone near you might be having a stroke so that you or that person could be transported to the nearby primary or comprehensive stroke center for rapid stroke analysis and tailored treatment. In the future, we will talk about types of stroke. What are the different types of centers? Primary versus comprehensive. The type of strokes you can have how do you prevent from having a stroke? And much more. 